late breaking news on the Squeakio Radio Show. Uh, Bam has attempted to contact the Squeakio via the Skype program. <laughs> nice. Squiggy received a message that from Bam two days ago stating, Are you there? <laughs> Apparently he's trying to take over for Bridget Twatsworth trying to get people on the phone. What? Now you're just making the story like the of news I am. does. You're going to tell us what he wanted. <laughs> when it was actually just yesterday that he did it, by Was the it way. yesterday? Yeah. What did I say, two days ago? Yes. Yesterday at 4.45 p.m. Twitch has called me this morning while I was driving in. And uh, I'm actually looking at my screen, Hensky. There aren't lies here. Uh, Bam, you there at 4.45 yesterday. Uh, and then Twitches called me and said, hey, he sent you a message. I'm like, oh, well, when? And it took a little while to figure out when he sent it. And then she typed, I am now. And then he never responded. Of course he didn't. So, well, I mean, you know, he's, he's busy going to school. <laughs> Bam, it's too cool for Shwigyo. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Um, Bam is too cool for you? He's too cool for Squeakio. I say we... Can, can we call out on... Can we see if he's available on Skype? Try to call him? Yeah, let's... Uh, Why don't we do that? Let's try doing that. I, wasn't uh, that a good idea? Actually, is he... Maybe he's not on Skype right now. It's trying to go to a cell phone. Hold on. What are you doing to be Skype? <laughs> Waiting for the call to actually do something. Crazy. I had to do something. Um, call. All right, there we go. There's me going, uh, and Bam going, question, question, question. Hello? Calling. I believe he should apologize to me, by the way. He should? Yeah. What did he say? You don't remember him calling me names on his show? Not at all. Because he jumped on the bandwagon of Twitchy's a cunt. Right. Hello? 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 Hi, who is this? Who do you think? You embarrassed, you, uh, insulted my grandfather. Why should I apologize to you and your girlfriend? I wasn't even aware you had a grandfather. I oh, you hatched. really? I, I think you should apologize for the names that you called me, actually. No, no, no. You said, and I quote, Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door on your radio shows. So I think you oppose apologize to me first before I apologize. That's a good to song, you. actually. Um, I'm, I, why I are am, you offended by no, that? No, 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 no. I, I object to, because I watched the video. That song is so metal. I right. object to that. I don't believe I said that because I am not a Christian. I don't believe in heaven. I may have been quoting song lyrics, but I was not referring still, to anyone's actual you, death. So you brought my grandfather's cancer up, and then you said knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. That kind of insult pissed me off. I'm You're so- lucky. I am so sorry that your feelings got hurt. Well, let's let's back up here. Why did you send me a message on Skype? Because you wanted me to apologize. That's how I'm going to say it. Uh, if you want me to apologize to you and her, you apologize to me. I just did. That's all I'm going to say. So wait, when did we call for an apology? Yeah, I don't remember this. Uh, I, I remember a, a cold message me coming in on my computer. You, to calling you a cunt? I'm Remember? Sorry? Wait, did you just wait? Did you just whisper it because you didn't want someone to hear you? No, his mom was listening. Is your mom listening? You listen up and you listen good. <laughs> right here, right now. I told you. Oh, okay. Uh, let me hold on. Let me put on my listening ears. Wait, where did you go? Hold on. There. I'm telling you the this other right room. here, right now. You do not. You if you have beef with me, that's fine. You do not drag my late grandfather. Who died just last week. Thank you very much. If it makes you feel any better, my grandfathers are dead, too. Well, he wasn't battling terminal cancer, was he? Uh, actually, yeah, my, my grandfather died of a brain tumor. Oof. So, yeah, he was. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. So, you know, you're not the only person that's had family members die. People deal but with I things... Wait, that, 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 you had your I say. Shut your, your face. insult your family members live on air. Shut your face for a second. You got to have your say. Squig you on Skype. Three now I'm going to have five, mine. Five. People deal with things in different ways. You can't get upset by the way someone else deals with death. I don't even know. I, I don't even know when your grandfather. How did you even. Squig, how did you find out that his grandfather was dying? He told me. 
And he told me that's why he couldn't DJ anymore. Oh, oh, he couldn't DJ because his grandfather was dying, but then he went yes. on Osprey and called me a cunt. Osprey. Is that correct? Uh, no, 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 no. When you <laughs> insulted <laughs> me <laughs> first, <laughs> and if I remember correctly, let me get YouTube up because I've been following your videos. Who do you think has been watching them? Oh, thank you, by the way, Osprey and Radio. You, you guys are definitely else. giving us I good counsel videos. I also showed that to a, um, a lawyer. I'm I could have had you guys for cyberbullying. Ah, oh, oh, Jesus Christ, not again. Let me tell you how many faggots have come on and said that to me. And let me tell you how many times I've been sued. None. None. So, please, go to your lawyer, waste your money, go for it. I mean, seriously, it... it you, you can't prove that... One, you can't prove it was me. You don't even know who I am. I didn't do anything. So, you know, if you, if you really want to go to a lawyer and say... Uh, they uh, said knock, knock, they knocking on heaven's me. door. What? You go right ahead. Because I don't even know who you are. Like, you're just some random guy who's, like, messaging me. If You know what's going to happen? I'm going to get you for harassment for messaging us on Skype and it ending up at my house. That's what I'm going to do. How, you see how ridiculous that is? In dark, to dark to say. What happened? You guys disconnected? You assholes. You do realize I'm getting called a cunt for this, right? I'm going to call you a cunt. I'm sorry, we were jamming out. What's up? That was mean. That was uncalled for. No, that was awesome. Because I love that song. It's so metal. <laughs> you know what? You may have a problem with me. I don't care about what you have, but you do not. I repeat. Do not ever insult my grandfather again. I haven't Let said a thing something. about your grandfather. We don't yes, know your grandfather. Yes, she did. That, oh, my oh, God. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh <laughs> Well, you dig a 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 dig all right, now, what is your evidence about somebody making fun of a grandfather or something? First of all, you stop doing that. I still got two more versions <laughs> of this song, though. That's an awesome song. Wiggy. It's classic. It's metal. It's Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Wiggy. Wiggy. Yes. Kinski. What? <laughs> I'm asking you nicely. I'm not... I am getting sick of the fucking game. All right, radio. I, we're gonna we're gonna do true or false, bam, true or false. You told Squiggy you could no longer do your show because your grandfather was dying, and then yes. proceeded to continue to do your show on Osprey. True or false? Well, let me ask you a question. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We're not no, no, answering no, 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 questions no, 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 with questions. No, 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 don't do that. Don't we are <laughs> not. Same thing as him. We are not answering questions with questions. <laughs> answer my question, and then I will answer yours. I did, because my grandfather was truly dying. So you lied. Maybe I did lie. Maybe what? I got away because I wasn't going to be used as a bargaining chip. How was your grandfather, how would your grandfather feel about you lying like that? Why? You know what? My grandfather? Okay, wait, wait, hold on. more respect for me than you ever did. That's <laughs> probably true. <laughs> right? Um, we're not going to deny that. Um... Why do you feel like you're being used as a bargaining chip? Well, let's see. When you got fired, when he got fired, he said basically to tell e Eli that I was supposed to be fired too. Because when... No. when, uh, when let me ask you a question. I'll go for it. Go, go for it. Go ahead. Ask your, your question. I was working at, uh, at Party FM. Nobody ever asked me if I would like to have an admin spot. But when Osprey asked me for an admin spot, I jumped at it because I knew I was never going to get anywhere near an admin position. We don't hand out admin positions like they're cookies. 
Do you realize well, what I have to? A, a no, spot. wait. Do you realize what I have to do to keep my spot? What go down on Quiggy? Yeah. Mostly. <laughs> You love it. Shut up. I do. No, seriously. <laughs> we, we've got we've got two. We've got Squig who pays all of the bills. He gets to run the the show. You have me and you have Drac. Ninety five percent of the time, I am not in the chat room. We're doing a show, and guess what? I'm not in the chat room <laughs> because yeah. I know that I am the type of person that people take offense to. So I stay out of there, but I still help Squig take care of things behind the scenes. And Drac takes care of running the daily shit. I don't understand why you think for for a station that that has five chatters and what ten DJs, if uh-huh. that, why we need more than two admins. Why do you feel like we needed to? Did you ever ask Squig if you could be an admin? Well, I know how he is too. So what, I remember because I used to work at Geist Radio. He got uh, banished from there. From where? From but where? The, uh, Nova Stream, you got banished from there. Uh, that was because I was uh, associated with Radio Supernova, who they didn't like. I took a chance on trying to mid the hatchet. You know what? It was not worth it. I was having migraine headaches and everything in between. I also want to say something else. When when Squig was told that he could not do his show on Osprey anymore, mm-hmm. he was not told that he was being fired. He was told that the partnership between Osprey and and Party FM was being dissolved. At no time was Squiggio told until three weeks after the fact. We were told that we were suspended and that Eli would get back to us. And then three weeks later... After people started telling us that we'd been fired and, and people at Osprey had been talking shit about us on air. Well, I didn't talk shit until you talked shit about my family. That's when I started. You attacked first. You went on their stream and you started talking shit about me, blaming everything on me. Grow the fuck up, <laughs> let your balls drop, and be a man. Oh, be a man? I hate to say this, but... uh you act like no, a woman, don't. but boy, you sure sound like a man. Are you sure you're not gay, Squig? Let me tell you something. You guys talked about my grandfather He's and talking about doing oh, that song, so and now you... Sweetheart, I currently have my period, and I'm more of a man than you'll ever be. So. <laughs> Before Hinsky takes it away, um, I just want to point out to Bam that you have totally been brought in to drink the Kool-Aid, because we had another... Uh, situation where some people uh, left us and started their own station because they didn't like us, and the way they got people to leave our station was they gave them admin spots. So don't think they did that for any other reason than to uh, say, fuck you to us. Before you back your roll up before you even think about that, was because I earned my spot there at Osprey because Suck I dick. was there every single night, every Sunday night working the Second Life Club, and that's what I was the admin of. So don't you even start that crap. Oh, I worked the Second Life Club. We've seen it before. Yep, we've seen it before. We'll see you know it what? You know what? Until you can grow a pair of brains, uh, there... A pair of brains? Apparently we have two brains now, baby. Sweet! We were sharing one. Brains! You insulted my grandfather. A zombie's wet I don't give two fucks discussion. about your grandfather! I never met the man! I'm sorry he died! I hope that he is in whatever heaven you think exists. I don't give a shit. I don't give a flying fuck. Let's just skip to the good part. Not heaven store. Door. That's the Avril Lavigne version. That that's metal. Oh, that's Avril Lavigne, so metal. She's twat. Anyway, a Canadian twat. Hi, Bam. How's it going? This is Sensky here. How, how you how you been, buddy? Pissed off. Oh, are you? You pissed off? So how's the uh, how's the new shoe going? None of your damn business. Oh, none of my man. What now? What is up with that? I didn't say anything about your grandfather. Why so? Well, I- you got Squiggy to thanks for that number, don't you? 
so what you're pissed at me because of Squig? You in, you are in in this room with him. Are you on I'm, drugs? You might be in the same bed with him. All I matter. I'm, I'm in I the wish. S- are we having a threesome? I'm on Skype just like you're on Skype. From my bedroom. <laughs> yeah. So, ma'am, I, I gotta wonder. Was your grandfather gay? You insult my grandfather one more time, Hensky. Can your did your is cancer transferable from gay sex? Hmm. Good question. Is that like mono AIDS and what was it? Why don't you ask Wiggy about that? He knows a lot about it. Fuck, fuck, fucking fucking in your grandpa's back door. You got wait. Was it a brain tumor? So if it's a brain tumor, was he getting fucked in the face? No, it was terminal cancer. You dish douchebags. Is there another kind of cancer? We want specifics here. Bus terminal cancer. Oh, one apology. Goodbye. Oh, I, oh, airport goodbye. cancer. Good riddance, and don't ever call me again. Yeah, sure, no don't problem. message me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, you cut out, but I got the gist of it. <laughs> Fucking bastards. Oh. No, it's so terrible. I won't even hang up. But don't call me anymore, you chunk of bitch. <laughs> uh, uh, of course I'm going to call him back. Are you insane? <laughs> I guess he keeps rejecting my call. Stop it. My grandfather was gay with brain cancer and terminal stuff. Stop calling me. I'm sorry, what happened? I said, stop uh, talking to me. I what? believe we got disconnected. I think, yeah, I think our Skype's doing something weird. <laughs> and Actually, Hinsky, it was my grandfather that had brain cancer. Oh, his had anus cancer. I'm sorry. I wish you would stop fucking with me right now. Yeah, me too. This well, is serious. Okay, let's, let's go with this. Shut the fuck up. So you, so you keep saying things like, okay, you do that one more time. What are you going to do if we do it one more time? Yeah, come on. What is it? You're really beginning to piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> you so metal. Is he choking on cock? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was like out of a horror movie. Furious! <laughs> Feel the fury! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't take you serious when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hansky, what's going on tomorrow night on the Party FM airwaves? I'll tell you what's going on, brother. <laughs> Look, put your teeth in. <laughs> Talk like a big boy. <laughs> this Thursday night. Did he block you? Thursday night-ish. Uh, he may have. <laughs> so we have another one who's suing us for cyberbullying. Yes. Oh, man. Uh, guys, I'm going to have to shut the station down. I can't afford all of these lawsuits. <laughs> oh, uh, terminal illness. This is w- I w- I'd like to point out that this is why we can't afford to pay our DJs. Yes. <laughs> all these lawsuits comes right out of your, uh, your paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> Not my paycheck! No! <laughs> paycheck, no! <laughs> Shut up, a bitch! <laughs> What did he do? He's like, I think he was hulking out. (laughs) I think he was hulking out, actually. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I'm in the middle of fucking myself with my hand. (laughs) Uh, I think he took me back off his list or he went offline. He really did sound like he was jerking off. Seriously, stop talking about my grandfather or I can't come. (laughs) Keep talking. Keep talking. Christ. Uh, so was that about the this- in the same room <laughs> having gay sex? Well, I'd probably get terminal cancer then. <laughs> Cuz that's what your grandfather was up to. <laughs> how uh how well does uh that conversation just then match with what we did at your house on Saturday night? It's fucking perfect. <laughs> it's dead on. <laughs> dead on. Did did he really just growl like he was the incredible Hulk? I'm, s- I'm busting through my pants. I'm <laughs> oh my God! Like it, it may have been inappropriate to laugh at him at that moment, <laughs> but did, I couldn't. You help laughed it. and then you covered your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Did I really? Yeah, you did. You're like, oh, I, no, I shouldn't do that. Oh, dearie me. Like, <laughs> I didn't know what to make of it. He is a lunatic. He really is. An absolute lunatic. I think maybe we should actually stop talking about him. <laughs> no. No. Well, I'm just, I'm kind of getting scared. He may actually get, you know, take get the school bus that he takes with his 15-year-old girlfriend uh-huh. and ride up here and kill us <laughs> in the, the school bus. Is, he's going to talk about this on his show. Oh, okay. I've got to make sure I record that now. <laughs> they called me, and you ain't shouting my grandfather. Well, let me tell you something, metal, metal fans. I had to hawk up this week. Because some serious business was going down. I was challenged by those bastards that I left. That cunt and her boyfriend that I left. Because of the tyranny and thunder leaves. <laughs> they, made me an, they made me an admin over here. Do the roar. <laughs> the admin thing was hilarious. <sighs> what, what was your reaction, Twitch? I can't remember. You, you had a priceless reaction, too. To what? To him going, they made me an admin. I just don't even get it. I earn this. I earn this on me spot. I uh, earn it by totally dicking out on you guys and lying. I believe my <laughs> I believe my reaction was very straightforward. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. Yeah. I'm here every night because I have no life. My girlfriend's not out after 8 o'clock. <laughs> right. She has to be in when the street lights come on. <coughs> I was running the Second Life Club. You know, nobody was in there, but you know, I was running it. There was all kinds of shit going down. I was down. running the Second Life because I don't have a First Life. <laughs> there was all kinds of shit going down because the walls disappeared from the club. Because the Eli second, didn't pay his bills. Right, Second Life's a piece of shit. I mean, awesome. I love Second Life. It's the best thing ever. I'm sorry, Squig, but you guys are holding Osprey Radio back. I oh, mean, yeah? with talent such as Bam and his Metal Massacre 3.0. The sky's the limit with guys like that. <clears throat> I wish the sky weren't the limit and he'd just keep floating up into the vacuum of space and suffocate like Arnold in uh, Total Recall. I think, I think he masturbates the songs that talk about pushing it to the limit. Walking along the razor's edge. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm going to go flog along my razor's edge. Whoa. Walking to the limit. <laughs> masturbate to cancer. <laughs> Bam! I'm, I'm pushing it to the limit. Oh, baby, I'm gonna fuck you so good. Walk along the razor's edge. Don't look down, just keep your oh, head. Okay, Christ. I don't know, whatever. I still think my favorite <laughs> line coming from me is I'm currently on my period, and I'm a more of a man than you'll ever be. <laughs> that, that was my favorite. I'm sure he didn't hear it. That's brain. And the best part is, is Twitch has actually saved him by saying, we both need brains. I'm like, no, he was talking to Squig. Squig needed a pair of brains. <laughs> you, you actually bailed him on that one. I just, I just, oh, I only need one brain, though. What's, what's he talking about? No. But before you could get on him, April's like, oh, we've got brains. And I'm like, no, no it's not we, it's him. <laughs> I'm Twitchio. Well, a lot of people think that I control what Squiggio does, so I'm assuming they also think we share a brain. Why are my arms moving? I'm not doing this. Trust me, if I controlled you, we would be shopping right now, not doing this. Oh. But Happy you, birthday. You would have missed this, though. You would have missed what just happened here. The magic. The mis- the mystery. The majesty. <laughs> that goddamn basement wizard. <laughs> 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 uh, I, th- I think when the set of music plays, I'm going to pull just that part of the clip and play it over and over again. Which one? <laughs> it's his angry, the angry... Uh, do angry the roar. Part. Yes, the angry do the roar. Can part. we cut that in with do the roar? <laughs> I, I believe... Oh, yes, yes, do the roar. <laughs> All right. I'll definitely work on that uh, as the music plays in a couple minutes here. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what, though? I think I need more time because I could totally, like, mix in. Like, everywhere Shrek talks, I could put one of his gems of wisdom. <laughs> New the roar. <laughs> you talk about my father. <laughs> New the roar. 
Don't talk about my grandfather. Get her on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hear that again. It was awesome. All right, I'll at least pull that one part out. God, that was to. that was. Oh, <laughs> I think I looked at you like what? <laughs> I believe I was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> It, but he wouldn't hang up. Yeah. Hang up. Oh, Drac, you missed it, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. You're just a little late there. <laughs> Neither <are. laughs> He really was. He's like, you I, You don't call me anymore. And then he just stays there. And then I call him back and he picks back up. <laughs> I mean it. Stop calling me. <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. Stop calling me. Well, then hang up. I'm sure you stop calling me. Well, if you just hang up, I'd stop calling you. How about you just log out of Skype and we'll stop calling you? Because we know you're going to pick up. <laughs> oh, Drac, you did. Oh, yeah. uh, Dude, can we, lo- oh, can we log in, in into my Skype and call him? Uh, <laughs> See if he answers thinking it's a girl. <laughs> you mean you're not really a girl? Well. <laughs> uh, oh, what happened? It's a birthday, too. That's hilarious. Apparently, I sound like a man. <laughs> Hensky, is my voice manly? Well, yes, it is. Here we- oh, no, he wouldn't answer. Oh, you tried to call him? Yeah, I still try calling him for mine. I'll, uh... Hey, if anybody wants to, uh, you know, call him up, he's BAM316. Uh, yeah, I don't think we should go there. BAM316 on Skype. It's not his phone number, it's his Skype. I'm going to shoot a pants off of you. You gave out my Skype phone number. Now, like, five people called me. You guys don't even understand me. My grandfather was the greatest Vietnam vet, <laughs> homosexual. He was part of the Pink Parade. Don't ask, don't tell. We still loved him, though, even though he was queer. He used to touch me. <laughs> when he babysit me, he sit me up on his lap. And I was always like, Granddaddy, what's that poking me in my butt? And he's like... It's the magic wand. Let's read your story. <laughs> Track says, because Bam316 says, I'm going to lick your ass. That's a- you something, brother. <laughs> what are you going to do when the Super Metal Serial Show 3.625 runs <laughs> wild on you? <laughs> <clears throat> I still now I'm trying to remember my Skype password. Oh, nice. I I still try cunt. Think you're such a cunt. <laughs> did you try cunt? I did not password? try cunt. Oh man. <laughs> I just I want to figure out why he he messaged me just out of the blue. I mean, those videos have been up there forever, and I just put up our videos from uh, from when we were at uh, Hinsky's house over the weekend. And by videos, I mean just audio with a still picture. Um, but I didn't put it up till last night, and he messaged me like hours and hours before that. I would like to thank the f- folks over at Osprey for watching our YouTube videos. They really have been taking up the numbers. <laughs> way more, may more Osprey people viewing our videos than normal people. Do you think we could get? Oh, too bad it's not an actual video; it's just audio. Yeah. Oh, if we could get an actual video of Bam hulking out, we could probably get that to go viral because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God! You could. You would just you wouldn't even need a fucking video. It would go viral just off of the fucking recording. I mean, this is like one of the pre- What are you going to do? What are you going to do if we keep doing this? <laughs> Should we try it? So I think we should- fucking response. It wasn't words. I think that needs to go up. This is officially he was officially on the Squiggio radio show, yeah. That is true. Yeah, absolutely. That might get him in trouble over at that other place. Hey, we're disassociating ourselves. What are you doing on their on their show? We're not supposed to be helping them. It's cool, it's cool. I think they're cunts. All of them are cunts. <laughs> you know how I've been thinking about changing the name of the radio station? What about Cunt FM? Cunt FM. <laughs> cunt party. Ooh. It's a good place to listen while you shave your cunt. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very happy to report out to everybody Ow. that it, apparently... Uh, Squig and Hensky are now a couple. That Ooh. means I'm getting threesomes. Who said we were a couple? Fam. Oh. April is your cunt. She's your cunt. 
Why are you why are you taking stock in anything he says? I'm not. <laughs> Fam says it's happening, it must be so. It must be. No! I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna kill everybody if he's a cunt. All my two listeners. I can't seem to log into Skype. In all of Second Life. Listen to me, minions. I have an announcement to make. Number one, we no longer like the Squeaky Radio Show. Number two, we're no longer associated with Farty FM and their tyranny. And number three, April is a cunt. And number four, Thunder, Thunderleaf. And Thunderleaf! Thunder, 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 Thunderleaf! I'd like to point out that Bam is an idiot. Um, we actually have a YouTube video called that. Th- that video has gotten 71 views. Hey, look at that! <clears throat> so not only the Osprey people checking it out, but they're watching it multiple times. <laughs> What's wrong with them? Which video? The Bam is an Idiot video. Ah. <laughs> All right, metalheads. <laughs> Let's tell you something about the new, the new show. Number one thing to know about my new show... Nothing's really changed. <laughs> it's pretty much the same show. It's working 3.0. Guess you know, what that at least means. I off of the boil on my ass that was Party FM. <laughs> We're a boil now, huh? Now, now I'm over here with Super o- Poop Spray. That's right. He does say Osprey funny, doesn't Oospree. he? Oospree. He says Oospree. <laughs> like, oops, I did it again. <laughs> Oops, I fucked my grandpa. What? Hey, right. metal. But I only play Nickelback. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Stop saying Nickelback's not metal. Or what? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good soundbite just for we'll, we'll have a conversation about something and then we'll try to get somebody all riled up and then we'll just play that. And, and then we'll be like, why are you, why are you so upset like Bam? We didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, and now this now's the time for deported deported ethnics. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we call it disassembled ethics? N- n- <laughs> Seriously. Well, now we know why they've been deported cuz they they have anger management problems. That's because they can't play their pay their second life bills. Right. Well, that's understandable. That can get very uh that can get very angering. Something up your ass. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Nature trying to play the game. Wonder if Eli's doing his blues show right now. It looks like he is. Wow. I say we call him. I don't think he's on Skype. No. Oh. And also we'd crash everything. Exactly. On his computer if we did that. <laughs> exactly. Skype. He was on Skype before him and uh Tep Tep were both on Skype before you called me. <clears throat> I made a... Let me look real quick. TepTep is on Skype. And I may have removed Eli from my Skype. That might be why. Okay, because Eli was on Skype. I don't think it'll be as good as our our conversation with Bam. That guy just brings it. (laughs) He brings it, all right. He brings it. That's a good way to put it. I'm (laughs) going to keep that one in mind from now on. (laughs) But what does he bring? (coughs) He brings the hot sauce. Oh. Puts a little spice on it. <laughs> yippity doo da yippity a. <laughs> My grandfather was terminally gay. <laughs> How do you get that diagnosed? With a really big penis up your ass. <laughs> if he goes, ow, then, you know, he's not gay. If he goes, ooh, he's definitely gay. And if he goes, he's he's very confused. The test, you're pretty much gay because you know what the test is. It's like bend over. If you don't have a problem with that, you're probably gay. Turn your head and cough. My grandfather was gay. <laughs> that sound he made when he took it up his ass. So, so for our for our soon to be viral video. Um, do we just put the part where, like, he's like, if you guys do that one more time, and then we kind of have a little bit of stuff, and then we ask him the question, and then he does his growl, and then we're out? Because you don't want, you don't want the whole conversation. I don't, I don't think we need the whole conversation. Okay. Well, I don't know. It's, it's your call. It's your, your YouTube. 
I mean, it can't be viral if it's long because people have short attention spans. It's true. It I is. would I would like to congratulate you on your grandfather being gay. My grandfather was a pretty happy guy too. No, but he's dead. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, let me. Uh... Let me tell you something. You guys can have all the problems with me that you want. But don't talk bad about somebody you ain't never met. I swear to Santa Claus, if you think for one minute you're going to talk about my great, my gay grandfather, you got another thing coming. Did, did your grandfather have terminal cancer? I heard great gay father. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard doing the voice and not screwing things up. <laughs> We only, you're, believe it or not, we only did like 10 minutes with those voices on Saturday. I know. <laughs> I think that's all we could do. <laughs> that's right, because then we just all started laughing. Yeah, pretty much. We were breaking character by the second go around. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. We, we had nothing at that point. We had, hey, we had said all the quotes we wanted to say in that voice, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> By the way, for you guys that missed what we're talking about, um, it is up on YouTube.PartyFMRadio.net. And also, after the show tonight, I'm going to replay um, our St. Paddy's Day show from Hinsky's house. Uh, do a replay of that. The part. What's that? Bam losing his shit. Oh, I get Bam losing his shit in there, too? That's it. I want, for the rest of the day, until the Thursday Night Metal, I want nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, how about this? Um, in the overnight hours, I'm going to put a bunch of Ego Trip episodes, and between every Ego Trip episode, I'll put Bam losing his shit. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. That's a, that's a winner. I don't think we have to pay royalties on that. No, I don't think so. Did you hear the new single by the Metal Massacre? <laughs> that guy's awesome. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on uh, by the by the next show getting the actual Shrek version of that. Oh, oh it's fucking hilarious! See, Dra- <clears throat> Drac thinks that you're the one making the noise, but we're just making fun of Bam making the noise. Oh, really? Drac thinks I'm the one making it. Yeah, he wants a Skrillex remix. I th- I think we need to put on some music, get that mix, so that Drac can hear this. Uh, you need to get that guy. Drac needs to hear that. Part Drac needs to hear it. He needs to know. It is as clever as it is, as awesome as it is, Drac, I didn't come up with it. <laughs> I, have to, I have to tell, I have to say, it's a, it's an original BAM. I get it. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I bet you're not doing it justice. I bet when I play it back, it's not going to even be close to that. It's it's not, but it's probably gonna be just as fucking funny. It'll I probably know. be even more funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs>